Hi, this is Sergen Kayak. Today I will present to you our work titled Diversity and Bias in DVpedia and Wikidata as Challenges for Downstream Processing. I'm a PhD candidate at the Institute of Media Studies at KU Leuven and I worked on this project with the Diamond Project team. The Diamond team consists of Bettina, Özgür, Stefan, Lean and Ans. So what is the Diamond Project and how it relates to this conference? The Diversity Searcher is a tool developed to assess the diversity of news, which can be used by media professionals and consumers. Diversity Searcher does named entity recognition and uses external knowledge sources like Wikidata or Dvpedia to identify the actors. Then it quantifies the relationships between the actors on texts to promote diversity in media. Like any such automated tool, it can introduce errors and biases. This thought led us to conduct a site study about the implications of using different knowledge sources while developing tools like Diversity Searcher, where historical and social context matters for good results. In this presentation of our paper, I will share with you how we go about assessing the semantic databases and what were the most important findings. Our research question was whether there were biases in DBpedia and Wikidata in terms of representation of political parties. To measure rate of errors and possible biases in these knowledge sources, we compared the English language DBpedia, the Dutch language DBpedia, and Wikidata in terms of their available data on politicians in the Belgian federal parliament compared to the actual seats the parties occupy in the said parliament. We chose to focus on the topic of the political party affiliation and political alignment of the politicians from Belgium between 1990 to the present day in these three semantic databases. We acquired that of all represented politicians in these three sources using Sparkle queries. We compared the results with the baseline, the shares of the number of seats or votes of parties in the Belgian federal parliament at that moment. We determined the baseline based on the previous most recent election at that time. Then we compared these numbers using data analysis and visualized our results in figures and dashboards. The following figures display examples of over and under representation of political parties in DVpedia and Wikidata. However, here is a quick explanation of what you will see. This is the figure of Wikidata of Belgian political parties in 2015. Each figure we will show you will consist of multiples of these, representing different time periods, groups of parties or sources. You can see the source name or year on the right side. The y-axis is percentages and the x-axis is the parties. The bars in the figures indicate the representation of a party in that source at that time in percentages. The gray line indicates the baseline, the real percentage of seats or votes the party got at the previous election. The black highlights indicate the exact percentage that party have in the parliament. Therefore, this means that whenever the bold gray line and its black highlighter matches the top part of the bars, it means that that data source is a good representation for that party in that given year. First, here is the 2015 data for all knowledge sources about Belgian parties. The one on the top shows the English language DBpedia's representation. The middle shows the Dutch DBpedia's representation and the bottom Wikidata's representation against the baselines. Our most striking finding is the overrepresentation of NVA in the English language DBpedia. See the red circle in the slide. NVA, the new Flemish alliance, is a Flemish nationalist party with right-wing politics. In the Belgian context, this translates into a political agenda that favors the, the Flemish, Dutch-speaking population over the Wallonians, who are the French-speaking population of Belgium. As you can see, NVA had won over 20% of the seats in the federal parliament in 2015. However, we found 52 politicians associated with this party in English language DVpedia. They constituted more than 60% of the politicians in the English language DVpedia associated with the parliament at this time. Notice the fact that the y-axis values for each of these figures is different. The representation of MVA is so much higher than the baseline. Less dramatically in terms of the Flemish parties, while Dutch DVpedia tended to overrepresent Flemish parties, for example, CDNV, the Christian Democratic Party members, appear to be 20% of the parliament in Dutch language DVpedia, but in reality they constitute about 12%. 
Finally, in the bottom, Wikidata provides a rather accurate picture of Belgian party shares in the national parliament compared to the others. There are some underrepresentations of some Flemish parties, however, only Wikidata gives an accurate representation of the Wallonian parties compared to the others. Here, in this graph, we can see the representation of all Wallonian parties in Dutch language Wikipedia. As you can see, they are systematically underrepresented. Notice the big mismatch between the lines and the bars. The baseline is above the representation consistently. We also analyzed the representation in the Flemish, not Belgian parliament. There we found some underrepresentation of the nationalist parties, especially after their success in recent elections. You can read our paper or see our visuals for more information. Finally, among the three, Wikidata provides the best representation in terms of percentages of politicians that can be found in the sources. Using accurate information can help the development of tools like Diversity Searcher, which has social and normative goals. However, misrepresentation in data and tools can further increase visibility of certain voices against others despite the best intentions of developers and designers. The misrepresentation of the political parties in DVpedias may be an artifact of how language, political system, and data creation interact. While DVpedia extracts its information from Wikipedia, thus that can explain some issues, such as Dutch DVpedia having underrepresentation of Wallonian politicians. Uh, some of the overrepresentation found in the data is hard to explain and require further analysis, like overrepresentation of MVA in English DVpedia. This was not our goal for this paper. However, we want to highlight that the data analysis alone cannot explain biased representations and more research is needed to understand the reasons behind them. In conclusion, we found biases in especially DVpedia in terms of representation of politicians in the Belgian federal parliament. Our findings confirm previous research related to misrepresentation in media in relation to elections. Our research fundamentally highlights the importance of being aware of the fact that data is not neutral and situating it in a historical and social context. The limitations of automated tools to recognize and understand context can increase the problem. So a numerical and categorical result produced by automated tools should be treated as a starting point for deeper analysis and involve users in sense making. Finally, we recommend a two pronged strategy for future work, identifying and using the best suited ontologies for data collection for a given task and making its properties and shortcomings transparent to users. Thank you for listening to me.